Daniel chapter 5, verse 10. Now we're with Belshazzar. And he's through this grand party. And he's called for the items that were in the Lord's temple. Now what would make him do such a feat? But we've already seen that they, from that they praise the God of gold, silver, iron, brass, wood. So I would get the sense is he's mocking Jehovah. Now he's in trouble. And he's in pride. That's the trouble of America. That's the trouble of the English. That's the trouble of the Baptist. In verse 10, now the queen would assume that this is the queen mother. Reason of the words of the king and his lords at the table when he started seeing the, the fingers writing on the wall. Came into the banquet house. So she wasn't there. Word had gotten out of Belsizer and you won't believe what they're saying. Something wrote on the walls. Probably, yeah, that's probably in the bathroom. Someone's going to the bathroom and they wrote graffiti on the wall. No, right there in front of the king. And see, he's got his own banquet house. And the queen spanked and said, O king, live forever. And that's a general. You know, it's proper, polite. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee. And his thoughts, are, I can't read it. I don't know what's going. What is happening here? Nor let thy countenance be changed. It's already been changed. His knees are slapping together. His body is quaking. And his face is scared. He was partying. There's a man in thy kingdom. Now he's already called the scientists. He's called the magicians. He's called the soothsayers. He's called the child. He's called all the world in. And he's picked up the phone. And he's called the 900 number. <laughs> And he's turned on the television and got the live sacred. And they brought the tarot cards. And they brought the, the, the checkout magazine. And, and there's no answer from the world. The world don't have the answers. Not when it's God's. God has given this dream. It is God's interpretation by God's people. But God can't preserve his word. And then you got scholars and you got Westcott that don't believe these miracles. And you read their Bible. There's a man in the kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy God. Look at the Holy Spirit. Now they worship every God under the sun, every God over the sun. But the implication there is the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of all the gods. I mean, the Bible does tell us that there are gods. And it acknowledges that for some people, they believe they're gods. And of all the, the whole, look the word, holy gods. There's a spirit, and it is in. See, in, not upon Daniel. It is in. Because there are some scholars out there, the Holy Spirit comes and goes. Upon and off. No, no, no. Holy Spirit comes in and out in the Old Testament too. In the days of thy father, would be grandfather, Nebuchadnezzar, light and understanding and wisdom. By this, no other spirit of small GODS is going to give you light, understanding, and wisdom. Because we already tried this, the gods, small G-O-D-S. We brought the magicians. We brought the Chaldeans. We brought the wise men of Babylon. And they're gods. Now bring in the God Jehovah and his prophet. You'll get light. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. You'll get understanding and wisdom. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs speaks about much of the wisdom of God. You can go get a college education know nothing about God. You can go get a seminary and become a doctor of theology and know nothing at all. 
Because without the Holy Spirit, and the Bible says the world can't receive that Spirit, because they are not of God, like the wisdom of the gods. Well, according to Genesis 3, the gods know good and evil. The Bible says in James, the devils even fear and tremble God. And man doesn't. I would assume that the gods might know who's saved and not saved. I would even assume that the gods would know the right between God and the devil. Who was found in him, in him, in him, in him, in him. Whom King Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, grandfather, the king. I say thy father. And the Bible father could be grandfather. Made master the magicians. There's your worldly. Gods and astrologers and you know are you Aries are you Libra are you a Virgo are you you got asteroids or whatever Chaldeans and soothsayers so this one man has been made has been given the position above all these men and yet every single time Nebuchadnezzar and every single time with Belshazzar he's the last one to be called and he's the one with the answers you know that's gonna happen out in the world you know, we are involved in, or we're involved with the with the farmers market ministry. You know, those people they, they could have troubles and problems in their life. They're going to run to everything and everybody and anything and anywhere. The last person they'll run is that Christian who's been screaming and hollering. The last thing they'll do is go. Oh, let me go run into a church, even if they even do that. Because you got to humble yourself to come to God. For as much an excellent spirit. So, so this is a spirit, the Holy God. This is an excellent spirit. This does not match small G-O-D-S spirit. Knowledge. Fear the Lord is beginning of knowledge. Wisdom. Understanding. Interpreting dream. Now, Daniel is told he has understanding, he has knowledge and wisdom, verse 11 and 12. Now, I, I always forget, I got to write this down sometimes. Next time I think about it, I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I got to write this down. Out of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Solomon had two but lacked one. I forget which one. Satan had Two and lacked one. Jesus had all three. Daniel has all three. And whatever Solomon lacked, he went after all the women and after all the gods. Daniel, no time. Jesus, no time went after the false gods. Satan. No, he had beauty. I believe he had wisdom. I forgave his knowledge or understanding. He's been, God, I, I can put my throne above your throne. Oh, really? I'll put your throne on the earth. Revelation 2 and 3. Satan has a throne not in heaven, on the earth. Because he lacked one. I'm not sure about Joseph. David had the understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. But all had sinned and come short of the glory of God. Was found in him whom the king Nebuchadnezzar's father had made an overseer or the master of magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting dreams, the dreams he had of, of Nebuchadnezzar, there may be others. And showing of hard sentences and dissolving doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom King Nebuchadnezzar, who, whom the king named Belshazzar. 
Now let Daniel be called. He's nowhere in the scene. He's nowhere to be found. He ain't at this shing ding. And he'll show you the interpretation. So here we go now. Now we're going to call him in the right man. Now we're going to run to God. Then was Daniel brought in before the king. And the king spank and said unto Daniel, Are thou that Daniel? That Daniel. Was there any others? Which art of the children of the captivity of Judah? You come from Judah. And it's funny because, you know, here, here's, can you mention Daniel looking around? Well, I'll be. That's the Lord's stuff. That's the Lord's cups. That's the Lord's candlestick. And he's asking me if I'm a Judah? What on earth is going on in this room? You know, Daniel was, a, was of the royalty. He was of Judah. He has never, there's, there's even Levites that have never seen what is in Belshazzar's banquet hall right now. And Daniel's looking at it like, Ooh. Ezra and Jeremiah were priests and they didn't even see what was. Now some of that stuff John the Baptist's father would have seen. As far as an earthly 100% man and 100% God, Jesus Christ. The human side of Jesus, he never saw this stuff. Jesus never went to the holy place and never went into the most holy place while on this earth as a man. And Daniel's sitting there looking at the tables and there it is. And I don't think that they had little halos around them either. They were not Babylonian in design. They were made in Jewish. They were made by the Jews. Where today the Baptist church has got the, ma the stuff made of the Catholic church, made of Assyria, made of Alexandria, made of Egypt, made of the world. And they tried to say, uh, 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 that's holy, that's great. God would be approved of that. We put the name of Jesus on it. And no, it, it sticks out with a sore thumb. And I guarantee these utensils, though they had no glow, no halo, I bet you they stood out in Daniel. Daniel knowing the scriptures and knowing Exodus and all the stuff that was made for God in that temple. He's looking at that stuff probably saying, Phew. Okay, I know what problem number one is. You got God's stuff here. I can just imagine, I don't know, half-naked women... <laughs> Maybe a bunch of drunks laying on the floor. Maybe some vomit. Art thou of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Jewry? Well, all right. Were you one of the captives that you know that we have given you an operation? You can't have children no more. We tried to change your language. We tried to change your name. We tried to change everything about you to make you Babylonian. What Belshazzar doesn't know, he's standing before the one that changed all that. Uh, let's, let's just give us some bolts and water to eat. But he wants his credentials. He wants his identity. He doesn't want a faker in front of him. I have even heard of thee. That the spirit of the gods. Uh oh. Did you read the Bible? Or did you? Okay, I'm done. Look at verse 5, what the Queen Mother says. The spirit of the holy gods. Look what he says. His attitude. The spirit of the gods. Where's the holy? You, you, you know, so what we have learned from the Queen Mother and what we learn about Belsizer, that the Queen Mother says that guy has the Holy Spirit, and Belsizer, he's got any spirit of any God. You know what Belsizer did? He changed the Word of God and made of no value of the Holy Spirit. There it is. 
That was long before Westcott and Hort was ever born. Belt sizes like Eve changed the word of God and how different you got it. And that light and understanding, excellent wisdom is found in me. Okay, wait a minute. So let's go back to what she said. She says, the holy God is light and understand and wisdom. Okay. So he says, let me find it again, that there's light, understand, excellent wisdom. All right. Look what she says, verse 12, for is an excellent spirit. Look what he did to the Holy Spirit. He turned the excellent spirit of the, of the Holy Spirit to excellent, excellent wisdom. Daniel, do I see your degrees on the wall? Did you go to Babylon, you? Did you go to Nebuchadnezzar High? You are the master of the magician. You are the master of the soothsayer. You had to have an excellent wisdom of college education, Mr. Scholar. Daniel had none of that crap. Like they got the crap today in the Baptist churches. We're scholars and we don't know nothing. Because you ain't got the excellent spirit of the Holy Spirit. I, I know a pastor... Well, you know, the blood that, that's going to be on Jesus' garments on the second advent, that's his blood. No scripture. Well, that's what I was taught. And what you were taught and what you teach is heresy, is a lie, because I gave you passages in Isaiah, I gave you passages in Ezekiel, that that blood is the blood of the enemies of Jesus Christ. Paul writes to the Christians, he says, the foolishness of God. You know, if God was foolish, it's better than the wisdom of man. The error of God, if God ever made any errors, there's, there's no comparison to what man. You can be the most smartest and brightest and well-achieved man. You can be up there with, with, with the educator of astronauts and space and technology and science and medication and, and pharmacies and all that. With man's education, you can be the most greatest. And, and if you don't know God, you're going to die and go to hell. What is that smart idiot in the wheelchair? And, oh, I don't believe in God and everything. And he's died and he's out of his wheelchair today and he's burning in a, in a Satan's hell. You don't know nothing, buddy. And all the people you turned away from God. It ain't excellent wisdom. It's the excellent. I don't know anything in the Bible except for what the Holy Spirit taught me. No pastor taught me. No teacher taught me. It's what the Holy Spirit. I could have gone through the four years of the institute that I went to, and I could have came out as a perfect dummy and not learn anything because the Holy Spirit would not have me learn anything. And everything I did learn, everything I am still learning, that, that I've earned a doctor of theology, which many pastors hate, I learned from the Holy Spirit and the crap that you learn, you learn from a man. You know what that was? Oh, magician, soothsayers, and all. Tell me the answer. Daniel, Daniel, come in with the Holy Spirit. Come in with, with the Lord Jehovah of the Jews. Well, it's this and this and this, and you better do that. So you see what that, you see what Belshazzar has done? He's changed the word of God of his mother. And I know I'm not changing scripture, but there would be a scripture for her where there was a word of the queen, there's power. But he wouldn't listen to his mother. He wasn't a very good Catholic. He didn't listen to Mama. Mama knew. Mama went to bed that night with Nebuchadnezzar quite often, and she saw the change in her husband. Is anybody going to know the change is your spouse? Then your children. Well, he's a grandchild. So an excellent, 
He got it wrong. It's found in me. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me with their excellent wisdom. That they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But with their excellent wisdom, they could not show the interpretation of the thing. That's your excellent wisdom. I don't know. I have heard of thee, from the Queen Mother. And then this is the first time he's ever heard about Daniel. That thou can make interpretations. See, it's Daniel and his excellent wisdom. Did you get that? And dissolve doubts. That's what the Queen said. But she said it was through the excellent spirit. Not excellent wisdom. Now if thou canst read the writing, so you can't read it, and make known to me the interpretation thereof. Thou shalt be clothed with scarlet, and have a chain about thy neck, a gold chain, and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Joseph was made the second ruler, the greatest type of Jesus Christ. Daniel would be made, and it is made the third ruler, a type of the Holy Spirit, with the excellent spirit, with the excellent spirit, with the excellent spirit, with the Holy Spirit of the Holy God. But Belsizer, in his Belsizer version of the Bible, erased everything that, that came to the Holy Spirit. You did see that, right? I started one verse today on my next study on the RSV. And on the very first study in John chapter 7, I got the RSV removing Jesus. You can believe anything you want, the verse says. It just took out Jesus. And Daniel answered and said before the king, Let thy gifts be to thy sins. Now you gotta wonder, does Daniel has Daniel already read this and know? Has already he's like, you know what? If he does, he knows, you know what? This kingdom's gone before nightfall. Or I remember the last time a king worshipped me, put the jewels on me, and gave me the club. I got into big trouble with the Lord about that. I mean, I know one. And give thy rewards to another. The Holy Spirit doesn't want the rewards. The Holy Spirit doesn't want the worship. You see, there's a fear... The charismatics put too much emphasis on the Holy Spirit, and the Baptists put too little. But the Holy Spirit does not do it for His honor and glory. He does it for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ. But we also need to give Him the credit. I've heard many preach, Oh, I come from this institute, I come from... It ain't them! I got one pastor mad at me one time. I said, you didn't teach me nothing. God did. <laughs> Get off your ivory shower. Clean yourself up. Repent. I will read the writing unto the king. So he does it offering no fee, no charge. He didn't have the collection plate. He didn't make the king give him 10%. And make known to him the interpretation. Now that sounds good, doesn't it? But Daniel knows. Daniel's smart. And he's standing before the king. He says, before I tell this king what he wants to know, I'm going to do a little preaching. And I'm going to do a little preaching. And he ain't going to kill me. Because if he kills me, he's never going to find out what that means. <laughs> so I'm going to take advantage of the moment. And I'm going, to, I'm going to use the wisdom of God and the Holy Spirit. I'm going to preach to this sucker. And he doesn't go, Well, you know, it's your grandfather. That, you know, he took us from Judah. And he, and look at all this stuff he stole from God and destroyed everything like that. You know, you're not my king. Daniel didn't do that. Daniel didn't gather all the camels and stop the traffic because, you know, whatever. 
Look what he does. Ready? O thou king. Look at that. Perfect, respectful, and honest. The most high God. <laughs> Look how he just threw that into the king's face. That's not what Belsizer believes. Oh, the most high God gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father, grandfather, a kingdom. Nebuchadnezzar's not our king. God set him up to be the king, Daniel said. I don't think Nebuchadnezzar came in and destroyed Judah. God told Nebuchadnezzar to do it. The army knew God told Nebuchadnezzar to do it, and God allowed them to do it. You didn't like it? Tough, rotten apples. If anybody has anything to be bitter about, Daniel, he's lost family. He has no opportunity to get a girlfriend and get married and have a children. I would be bitter. He says, your father, the king, that caused all that. I mean, he tried to change our language. He tried to change who we are. He threw three of my friends into the furnace. And what did Daniel say? He said, God gave Nebuchadnezzar the the kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. You want to know how you make Baptists upset in America today? Oh, thou Baptist Americans or American Baptists, because you're more American than Baptists. The most high God gave President Biden, the, uh, the ruler, he gave him the Oval Office and the splendor and the glory and the honor of the President of the United States of America. Ah! Stolen! Stolen! The vote was stolen! You don't know your Bible. And you better repent because you've sinned and you rebelled against God. I'm not going to get the vaccine. I'm going to quit my job and let them fire. You are rebellion. I hope you don't get any unemployment benefits. And for the majesty which he gave him, which God gave to Nebuchadnezzar, all people, nations, that runs all the way back to, we ran that all the way back to the Tower of Babel, and languages. Trembled and feared before him. Did you read that about Babylon? God was feared in Babylon. How do you know that? Because that captain of guard went into the prison, unlocked the doors of Jeremiah, gave him food, gave him money, and gave him, you can go here, you can go do where God told us to come and do what we did. Because you sinned again. And all he did was back up Jeremiah's message. Now, they didn't fear God. Hey, one more Jew, chop off his head. Whom he would slew. And whom he would keep alive. God has the power of life and death. Even if, it, even if Satan wants that power, Satan needs to get it from God, from permission. And whom he would set up, Biden, Trump, Clinton's, Obama, Bushes, Reagans, Kennedys, in whom he would have put down Think about England. Think about how England has had all this time it had a queen and not a king. But when his heart was lifted up in pride, it's Nebuchadnezzar, and his mind is hardened by in pride. Now, what's he doing? He's telling the testimony of his father. And what what he's got to realize, Belshazzar has happened to see the change in his grandpa. Maybe he denied the change. Maybe he didn't understand the change. But Daniel's using this moment right now, Belsizer, let me tell you what happened to your grandpa. Because you're going down the very same road. The problem is, I'll tell you already, 
Nebuchadnezzar went down the right road, and I believe he's going to be in heaven. Belshazzar has gone down the road, wrong road, and he's in hell today. We are reading, I believe we are reading about a man that is in hell and has been in hell. From the time that this letter has been written. And he had all the wine. He had all the gold. He had all the silver. And I bet you today all he would want is a little drop of water. And I believe Nebuchadnezzar, however a Gentile back then, I know eventually I believe he's going to be in heaven. Maybe Nebuchadnezzar will have to judge his own son or grandson. I don't know. He was disposed from his kingly throne. And they took his glory from him. There's that they again. Remember that day when we read about them? And I kept saying, who is that day? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> There's a man that preaches. Oh, it wasn't the death angel that was in the book of Exodus and went through that land. Yeah, but the angel said, Said the Lord, God sent us to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, you know, but it also says that God bring. Yep, they got permission from God, Job 1 and 2. Whoever these people are, there's one thing God said, go down there and deal with it. It may be the same angels that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. You imagine these two angels, man, he always sends us down for the bad stuff. We never get a Gabriel moment where, you know, Gabriel, hey, I'm here to help you out with your dreams. I'm here to tell you you're going to have a... We don't get those moments. He always sends us destruction. You think we can ask God one day, God, can, you, can we go do a good thing? I don't know. I'm just... Day in the life of an angel. One angel went and destroyed almost a three-quarter part of an army. Not even... <sighs> They're dead. Did you break a sweat? Ah, oh, no. That may be one of the angels we're talking about right now. I don't know. But who are they today? They took his glory from him. They put him out in the woods. They put him out where the animals are. And he was driven from the sons of men. Not the sons of God. The sons of men. Sons of God are angels. You see, you can't say that's Cain's family over there. You know, sons God met with the women they had and whatever. Because the Bible says here, the sons of men, God knows who the sons of men are compared to the sons of God. And if it would have been the family of Cain that made it with all that, and God would have said the sons of men met the daughters of men. God knows what he's talking about. You don't. Because they're sons of men right there. And in Genesis it says the sons of God. And Adam was a son of God because Adam had no mother or father. I'm a child of God. I'm a son of God. But guess what? Spiritually concerned, I don't have a mother. I have a father in heaven, but I don't have a mother. I'm talking about being saved and born again. I've been born of the Spirit, not of a woman, not of Mary. So I'm a son of God that way. Angels don't come from mothers and fathers. They came from God, son of God. Son of men comes from a mommy, comes from a daddy. Mommy and daddy, they get together with the birds and bees and boing! Angels don't have no sons and sons, uh, birds and bees. See, I taught you something with scripture that people don't know. That's why. Oh, where are the sons from? What's the sons of God mean? All right. And then the modern Bible's changing, and God's going to. And his heart was made like the beast. So there's a difference between the beast and the animal. We're not the same evolutionized. You be a monkey's uncle. I am a child of Frank and Cheryl Hayward, and I am also a child of God. There are no monkeys. 
okay? I got many uncles in my family, and none of them are a monkey. Now, Darwin had, okay, he got a problem. But my heart is not the same as the beast. Now, don't go say, well, you know, they did that operation, they put the bad boom in there. Yeah, but you know, a beast in the field's heart, is, he doesn't find a lady beast. And we go run off in the sunset. We go have a happy, good life. And, and let me take care of you. You need to go to the vet because you're not feeling very well. Let me take you to the vet. And let me get health insurance so you can go to the vet. No, 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 no. See, that's the heart. It's a love and care. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't give it for animals. I know a woman, oh, I witnessed my dogs. My dogs are saved. They're going to heaven. You got a big shock. That you actually think, too, that you got some dogs and they came from China. Really? I just read the other day that there's a scam out there. There are people claiming you can get a Ukrainian dog. And the Ukrainian dog is from America. So... I like to put wet clothes, wet cloths on people. And his dwelling was with the wild asses. So he's out in the wilderness, out, out in the, you know, where no man is. And they fed him with grass like an oxen. He's out there eating salad. I don't know if he mooed. His body was wet with the dew of heaven. Till he knew the most high ruleth in the kingdom of man. He stayed in that condition. I believe it says seven times. We don't know what that seven is. He said one day, you know, he's out there chewing grass. Scratching the fleas off him. What on earth am I doing? It's the mercy of God I'm still alive and I have grass to eat. Yeah, I hear cow, that's mine. Yeah, yeah, you stupid ass, that's my food. And then he looks up and he prays to the holy God, the most holy God. And he repents and he gets right. And you don't ever hear from him in the Bible anymore. And that he was appointed over it, whomsoever he was. There, what president, or, 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 whether it be Democrat, Republican, King, whatever it is. God. God made me a human lawnmower. I had all the splendor, but it wasn't my splendor like I was bright. It was splendor that came from God. I didn't give God the glory. Praise the Lord that you, you changed me. I don't even know if, if, if Nebuchadnezzar ever thought I was going to get that kingdom back. He might have thought, hey, the rest of my life I'm going to be out here. And then God said, go find him. You know what God said to Moses? Moses, I mean, Moses had that whole thing with God. I can't speak. I'm not eloquent. All right, well, I'm gonna, your brother's going to speak. Oh, good. He's coming to meet me. Well, who told Aaron to go? How would Aaron know where to find God? I mean, find Moses. Except God sent him. How did the wise men know where Jesus was? At two years old. Hey, he imagine why he's been showing up in Bethlehem. In the There's the manger. Where's the baby? Oh, the man. You mean the carol's wrong? Fred, get out of here. They say it's three of us. It's not three of us. Get out of here, Fred. No, oh, two years old. They were led to a house. Looking for Jesus, not Mary. How did they get there? God said. Them. God said, go.
You got to realize it is God. Good and evil. It is God. Whoever the president is, whoever your boss or your supervisor is, whatever has happened, it is God. And if it was the devil, he needed permission by God. If it is our own foolishness and our own sin, it is God saying, all right, let it play out. He don't want to listen to me. He wants to do it. Let it. And it would be God to say, all right, let it go. He'll be back, maybe. Let me. Why was the tree of knowledge of good and evil there? Because God allowed it to be there. I don't know who planted it. That's why I say God allowed it. Why did God allow the serpent to be? Because he allowed it. What are you going to do about it? Isn't there a place in the Bible, I believe it's in Job, said, who has the right to say, what doest thou? And people say, what doest thou? Because he's God, that's why he does it. 